Alright guys, so today I wanted to try something new. It's actually what I was going to do uh, for the last video on Thursday, uh, but I ended up finding a bunch of rare animals and ended up uploading that instead uh, and kind of abandoning the idea. But I wanted to come back to it because I wanted to see what you guys uh, thought about the whole concept. So basically what's going on is I just hunted uh, for maybe an hour and a half, two hours, uh, doing the St. Patrick's Day, uh, the different competitions. Uh, and it's gonna be kind of like in the uncut style where I just talk about different things uh, kind of ramble about whatever uh, and then the actual video is gonna be edited so my audio isn't gonna be a hundred percent uncut I'll stop uh, here and there uh, just to be able to more organize my thoughts better and that kind of thing uh, but there's gonna be more kills on screen than there would be in a normal uncut video and it may be shorter or maybe longer I have no idea uh, how long this is going to go on, but I wanted to see what you guys would think about it. Uh, so it does allow me to actually record uh, at any real time, to be honest, because I don't have to record my microphone volume uh, while I'm hunting. I can record the microphone volume later, uh, which takes a lot less time. So I can record, say, when uh, my brother and sister are home and I normally don't since it's a little bit loud and I try to keep uh, background sound out of the videos as much as possible because it helps with the experience uh, of actually being in a hunting simulator game, but yeah, pretty much I'm just going to talk about everything I have and then I'm going to edit down all the kills, uh, get all the kills in there, uh, so there's going to be some time around the kills I imagine, uh, just however much is needed, I guess with the amount of kills I have to fit the amount of time. Uh, normally there's going to be more kills than there are in this video, uh, I changed my mind about what I was going to do kind of last minute. Uh, but I still got a decent amount and a couple of pretty cool ones. But yeah, so the first thing I wanted to mention, of course, is the new Hunter Score system. Uh, it kind of is, it's very interesting because Hunter Score now, uh, it's a lot higher. I was at like, I think 2,300, 2,400 uh, before the change, and now I'm at 27,000. Uh, so I think even there's animals, weapons, and collectibles. Uh, up to a thousand of each, uh, you got a thousand kills with a weapon, a thousand kills of a certain animal, and a thousand collectibles collected, I guess. I don't know 100% how it works, but I believe uh, that's how it's all working currently. And you get like one hunter score per two kills or something like that, uh, or at least that's what I was able to tell. I'm not 100% sure, so uh, I can't say that with uh, complete certainty, uh, but that is what I understand currently. So it kind of allows newer players to move up within uh, the ranks, so to speak, uh, and get at least visually see progress happening a lot faster. Uh, I think that was one of the biggest ideas to actually be able to progress a little faster within the game uh, from a hunter score standpoint, because before uh, you'd get a hunter score for like one kill and then 25. Is there a 50? I don't think there is. Maybe there is. It's... Uh, uh, either way, it's a lot slower uh, that you gain hunter score. So definitely interesting that they changed it. Uh, and I do think the cap for everything is 100. Uh, I was just looking at that and as far as I could tell it was. So yeah, definitely uh, an interesting thing. I was curious to see what you guys uh, thought about it. I know there was a lot of mixed uh, feelings uh, throughout the community on the forums and from people I talked to. Personally, I have never paid much attention to hunter score. Uh, it's always been there. I paid a lot of attention to it until I got to 600. Uh, at that point, I unlocked the uh, handgun slot and never really cared about it again. I know that has changed from 600, obviously, as the whole system has changed. It was 3,000, but I don't know after they changed the caps uh, what it actually is now. Uh, but maybe if you guys are actually curious, someone can put that in the comments if they know. Uh, but yeah. As I said, I never really cared about Hunter Score. I've just played the game uh, to enjoy it. It's, in my opinion, still the best hunting game out there, uh, despite the fact that Call of the Wild definitely uh, has given it a run for its money uh, as things continue to improve. But, uh, yeah. Wanted to know what you guys think about the new Hunter Score system. Uh, those were my thoughts. Hopefully you guys uh, don't completely hate the system. There's definitely uh, there is positives and negatives to it. Uh, as I said, the positives... Uh, being more quick and visual progression. I suppose negatives, uh, it could have very much diminished your rank if you were very focused on hunter score uh, prior. Uh, what a lot of people were doing 
uh, was going to like 25 kills with each weapon, then 100 kills with each weapon. Uh, and since the hunter score system changed, that could have potentially brought you a lot lower. It could have brought you a lot higher in the ranks. It's hard to say, but uh, yeah, that's what I got for the new hunter score system. And again, if you guys have any thoughts about it, leave them in the comments. If you don't know, I do read every comment. I try to respond to them all if I can. Uh, just a random thought that I had uh, about that just now, because I've never really said that, uh, but I always do read the comments uh, in case you're wondering. So another thing I wanted to say, I am going to have to temporarily uh, stop hosting multiplayer games. Um, I will have already hosted the one uh, that was going to be today, uh, Saturday, and after that I'm going to have to stop probably for a month or so. I've got stuff going on with school, different events that I have to attend, uh, and that kind of thing. So I'm going to stop hosting multiplayer games. Generally, it's kind of a glitchy mess anyway because my internet's so bad. Uh, but I know you guys still want to join, and I really do appreciate that. But, yeah, just, of course, school has to come first. Uh, education and that kind of thing, uh, for some reason, takes priority over video games. I don't know why that is. I never understood it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys... Uh, don't mind that. I will still be on. I'll be around. I may host a random game, uh, but it's not necessarily going to be within the schedule that it has been uh, on Wednesdays and Saturdays. It may just be whenever uh, I manage to have time to host. Uh, I'll probably just hop in random multiplayer games at some point because uh, that way I don't have to worry about hosting for a long period of time because often what happens when hosting a multiplayer game is you get to within like five minutes of being ready to end. Uh, and then, like, three more people will join, uh, and they'll find something, and it just ends up uh, going a lot longer than intended. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be temporarily uh, not happening. And I really do hope that I can get a new inter internet service provider uh, to cover this area so that I can potentially switch and get better internet so that I can host, uh, and the games won't be really glitchy for you guys. Your ping will be uh, better, hopefully. But as is right now... Uh, as I've said in the past, only one provider actually covers this area uh, that has decent internet speed, and that's still uh, super slow uh, by modern standards. So, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, but, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, and I wanted to put it kind of early in this video uh, just so anybody that tunes out uh, before the end would know. So I won't be hosting multiplayer games at least until about halfway through April, I think. Uh, unless that changes, I will, of course, let you know uh, when I'm going to start again. But as of now, I'm going to have to stop. Again, it's just uh, real life and school uh, getting in the way of things, you know. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's just the, the way it has to be. But the good news is, uh, in less than two months, school will be officially out for me. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be getting really close uh, to being out of school as well. Uh, and some of you will be already. It depends on when you've started, of course. Uh, some schools start uh, like halfway through August, some don't start till uh, into September, so that's of course going to make a difference. But yeah, summer is coming up fast despite the inclement weather lately. Uh, it's definitely getting slowly uh, closer and closer to summer, which I can't wait for because just getting the time to play with friends and just relax, it's so fun. Uh, and I've just been kind of waiting for that, uh, especially now. Uh, in February, we had like 70 degree weather for a while, and that got me really eager for summer to happen just because it felt so much like summer uh, being that warm, but uh, in less than two months as well, heck, yeah, a uh, little under two months, it's going to be two years uh, since I started uploading videos consistently uh, to the channel, so that is crazy, I can't believe it's been uh, this long already, uh, but yeah, still just chugging along, I don't since I made a schedule of uh, uploading Thursdays and Saturdays and then adding uh, Tuesdays in there, I've not missed a video, so I'm very proud of that, especially considering how bad my internet is. And now that I can schedule uploads, that helps things a lot. Uh, but when I used to upload overnight, uh, like I would upload it a Saturday night and it wouldn't come out till like 9, 10 a.m. Uh, on a Sunday morning, but I still got the video out that day, uh, and now things are going out at 10 p.m., and I have been asked about why it's so late. Uh, the reason is, in case I have to edit or something the day of, uh, I have a little more leeway and videos still come out on schedule. Uh, I might bump that back to like 8 or 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, just so uh, it's not so late uh, for those of you in the Eastern Time Zone. 
uh, so you're not staying up later just to watch a video uh, and you can get to bed. But uh, let me know what you think about that. As I said, uh, it would be good probably to just keep it as it is because uh, it's been that way for, I don't even know when I started scheduling uploads. I think July. Uh, so many months. Eight, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, really cool. We're moving towards two years uh, on YouTube. And I know a lot of you guys have been here since very near the beginning. And I do appreciate all the consistent support. Uh, it has been amazing. And I'm going to save a lot of what I want to say uh, for a potential video uh, on that. So I'm going to leave that uh, there. But yeah, two months till summer and two months till two years on the channel. Uh, we're getting there fast. Coming even faster than that actually is going to be uh, spring, which brings, of course, spring comes before summer. I don't know why I said that like that. Uh, but fishing season, uh, that for us, for trout season, I believe is April 15th. So that's less than one month from now. Super excited about that. Uh, it's always fun to just uh, go hang out with friends. Usually I go over to uh, my best friend's house and he's got a... Uh, stocked uh creek that runs i know i'm from pennsylvania i say creek i don't say creek uh that runs just below his house uh so we get to go fishing over there uh always a good time it's always just cool to relax and do some fishing with friends get to hang out and just do some talking uh, about whatever because of course fishing is not super uh action paced all the time a lot of slow in between moments but yeah, I'm always excited about fishing season, especially uh, just when it's been winter for so long and I haven't gotten to be outdoors a whole lot, uh, even though this winter has been relatively mild. But uh, yeah, that's coming up. Turkey season is then two weeks after that. And I'm really excited this year because I'm actually off almost all of turkey season. I think I'm done like May 5th uh, and it starts like April 29th. So I'll be off starting like the second Saturday uh, of turkey season. So super psyched about that. I've been getting into turkey hunting a lot more. The last couple of years uh, I got my first two the uh, last two springs I've been able to harvest a gobbler so I'm gonna try I actually don't know uh, how the laws are I know you can get two tags I'm almost sure you can get uh, two gobbler tags for the spring here in PA but I'm not a hundred percent certain um, if you have to have the second tag early or not uh, but if I can get a second tag I'm gonna try to get one with a shotgun normally and then i'm going to try to get one with, uh, with my bow as well which i've never even attempted to do so that should be interesting uh i know you guys have asked for real life hunting videos if i try it it's going to be starting with turkey hunting uh eventually just because i feel like with a decoy which is generally the method uh used to hunt turkeys you can have an idea of where they're going to be you can have the camera kind of set up in the right direction uh it just requires less movement and a bit less setup as well uh than for deer hunting like hauling uh, camera equipment up a tree and strapping it to the tree and having the camera arm that's just a bit uh, too involved as like a start I want to at least have an idea of what I'm doing and get kind of experience with it before I ever record deer hunting and if I were to upload it it would probably be on a separate channel just because this channel uh, has always been just the hunter classic and recently uh, the hunter call of the wild uh, but those are entirely related so I would probably make a second channel for that uh, and who knows, I might make fishing videos or whatever if I do it. Uh, I may just give it a try and use my less than stellar equipment just to give it a shot. But I can't promise anything uh, <laughs> when you get up at 4.30. It's a lot easier to just say, nah, forget it. Uh, not putting that effort in today. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. I'd like to try it. I really would. It's always been a dream of mine uh, to make like hunting shows, hunting videos uh, since watching them as a kid. Uh, until I could actually hunt myself. Uh, and then this kind of whole YouTube thing has actually kind of fulfilled that in a way. Uh, getting to sort of make hunting videos. Uh, not necessarily real life. Uh, but whatever uh, it takes, I guess. But yeah, if I can uh, manage to work that out, I totally will. As I said, I'd love to do it. Uh, it's just a matter of being able to put in that extra effort. Uh, and of course, like I said, my equipment's not great. Uh, the camera that I'd be recording with... I think it's just 720p and I don't know does anyone know if I were to upload if I were to save a 720p video in 1080p quality what happens there does that like fix it I doubt it because uh, when I recorded my face cam uh, in 720p it still looked 
720p to me anyway. Uh, but yeah, something uh, to think about at least. And going along with that, actually, uh, we're going to be doing some camping hopefully uh, this year as well. Hoping to do that uh, as early as like the week I get out of school, if at all possible. Because uh, I've always just loved camping. I posted a couple of things on Twitter about it today, uh, which is thir Friday. <laughs> I don't know what day it is. Um, if you're following me on Twitter, you probably saw that. Uh, I had a picture of the tents my brother and I had set up uh, from last year. Uh, they're just like tents that are actually up on a cot. I don't know if you guys have ever seen those, but they're super comfortable uh, and very much worth the extra weight if you're not packing them in uh, for a long distance. But anyway, getting off topic, uh, we just kind of do fishing trips and just kind of camp out. But what I want to do this year, we've done some in the past of kind of like uh, canoeing down a waterway uh, and then just camping uh, on the shore where that's possible. Um, my friend and I uh, usually uh, would join like my cousins and then uh, my dad and my brother often went as well. Uh, so what we're going to try to do this year, my brother and my friend already have like one man boats and I'm probably going to get one as well uh, and we'll do some of that. So I'll just have to record uh, some videos and upload them in advance so you guys probably won't notice I'm gone uh, when I am other than the fact that I can't respond. Uh, to comments, which is why I bothered to actually say this in the video. I'm not just uh, telling you all my plans. Um, yeah, I'll probably not be able to respond to comments because most of the places we go, uh, there's no cell service. Uh, but I've always loved just doing that and having like time to, I don't know, unwind uh, and just be away from all the modern technology. It's always really freeing and it's incredibly weird. Like the first, if you go for say four days, uh, or three days like we've done in the past the first day or two you're kind of like every now and then you'll get bored and want some kind of uh, entertainment uh, from like a phone or whatever uh, but then like by the time you get back at least for me I almost don't even want to use modern technology because it just feels uh, so weird and like isolated almost I don't know it's kind of a cool feeling and it's definitely good uh, to do that every now and then but yeah, I've always loved camping, uh, and I'm definitely going to be trying to do as much of that over the summer as I can. Of course, uh, what I can manage to do with uh, keeping videos going uh, here on the channel as well. But yeah, super excited uh, for this spring uh, for turkey hunting, fishing, and camping. All really fun stuff. But going back to the Hunter and the news uh, surrounding it, for those of you that don't follow the status updates or the forums or anything like that, you may not have seen... Uh, that the developers have announced that the next animal, uh, which is going to be added to Bush Rangers Run, is feral goats. Uh, and they've had a couple of screenshots since announcing it uh, of what they look like. And there's actually going to be like different variations of them with actual different horn uh, styles. What would be the correct word for that? I don't know. Their horns are entirely different shaped. Um, at least the two that I saw. So that's going to be cool. Uh, Bush Rangers Run definitely needs uh, something else. Uh, it's just kind of... I don't know, too bland, that's not really the right word. It's kind of empty, and it doesn't just have that animal that uh, brings you to the map uh, specifically to hunt it. I know red kangaroos uh, are distinct, and then it's pretty much the best map uh, to hunt European rabbits and red fox, but they're just, I don't know, they're not super flashy animals that everybody wants to hunt, so definitely going to be good. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how well uh, they're able to mimic the real life behavior of feral goats and still keep the game balance because uh, of course I don't uh, have any experience with them myself but from what I've seen and uh, read others posts on the forums apparently they're uh, rather dull they kind of someone said you could shoot one uh, right beside another and it'll just sit there and kind of look around uh, which I mean animals do that when they hear a loud noise sometimes uh, but from what I was understanding uh, this is to a whole nother level, uh, basically. But yeah, there's gonna, of course, gonna have to be some game balance. So I wouldn't think they're all just gonna stand there uh, and let you take them out. But it's gonna be interesting. Uh, as I said, Bush Rangers Run definitely needs uh, another animal. Uh, I was kind of hoping for Axis Deer or Sandbar Deer myself, uh, but as I've said, I'm kind of very much into uh, big antlers. Basically, any animal with antlers, I'm all for it. Uh, but the fact that we're going to have something entirely new uh, as far as actual species go 
Uh, I don't know if they're related to Bighorn or Ibex. I'm sure in some way they are. Uh, they're fairly uh, similar, but uh, it's going to be something new and cool that uh, Bush Rangers Run is getting another animal as well. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about uh, today is just to address a comment, or to be more precise, multiple comments uh, that basically to sum them all up into one, uh, we're asking why everyone is switching to the Hunter Call of the Wild uh, from the Hunter Classic, uh, and why it's been played uh, so much. Uh, but for myself, I'm certainly not switching uh, from Classic. I'm still playing as much Classic, uh, maybe a bit less, of course, to fit Call of the Wild in, but I'm still playing a lot more Classic than Call of the Wild. It's still the game I prefer. I'm still more of a simulator-driven player. Uh, Call of the Wild is a bit more, uh, what's the word, relaxed, I guess. It's not 100% uh, realistic, but if you're not focused on that, it is a great game, don't get me wrong. Uh, I've had some conversations with other people uh, who agree, but uh, I'm still uploading the same amount of videos on the Hunter Classic, uh, and I've just added one video of the Hunter Call of the Wild per week. Uh, so if you're wondering about that, uh, that's all that's going on there. But yeah. It's a good game. People are playing it, people are enjoying it, and I am too. Uh, but again, I'm just going to stick with the Hunter Classic. Uh, just because I've... I mean, I'm sure I'm biased in a way because I've played it for six and a half years. Uh, but I still just prefer uh, the gameplay mechanics over the Hunter Call of the Wild a bit. There's definitely things in Call of the Wild that I like uh, more than the way it's implemented in the Hunter Classic and vice versa. Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinions. Uh, and now I do have a random clip that was not... Uh, from any of the St. Patrick's Day hunting. I was just in the game uh, with some friends, and I happened to, I was, I actually was seeing a group of Rosebud Luck uh, females, uh, and I had said to them, I keep seeing them walking through sunspots, and I keep thinking one's piebald, and we kind of had a laugh about that, and then I got to looking, and actually one of them was melanistic. Uh, so I have the audio muted just because uh, we were in team speak and there was just a lot of noise, uh, so hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. But yeah. Melanistic Roosevelt Elk Cow. Uh, just got it with the recurve. Fortunately, uh, it didn't run anywhere or anything. I had a bit of a ping issue uh, while I was there. Uh, so things were kind of running a bit after I shot them. Although it may have been better if this one had. She didn't fall in the great place uh, for the trophy shot. I managed to get her into the sun, but I couldn't zoom in uh, super close, unfortunately. But hey, I mean, it was still a really cool thing. I have had one Melanistic Cow in the past, uh, but it wasn't anything special. Still looking for that first rare uh, Roosevelt Elk Bull, but eventually that'll happen. But anyway, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.